Hey everyone, it's uh, Jermaine here with SlashStone.com here at the, uh, in our palatial apartment at the 2012 Sunday Film Festival. I'm here with Ethan Anderton from FirstShowing.net. And it's about 2 o'clock in the morning. We just got out of the world premiere of Tim and Eric, uh, Tim and Eric's Billion Dollar Movie. I wanted to say awesome show, great job. Uh, Ethan, what you think? You know, it was a good movie, great job. Not to put too fine a point on it. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, no, it's, it's just, like, anybody who knows Tim and Eric's work on the show on Adult Swim... It's exactly what you would expect from them. The same kind of ridiculous, over-the-top humor, you know, just, yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I was a fan going in, yeah. uh, watching The Awesome Show, and The Awesome Show is all, like, 15 minutes, you know, like, every week, and, like, in, it's, like, 14 skits in 15 minutes, more or less, and the movie starts like that, and then becomes a story, and I felt like, it, well, there's tons of laughs in it. Like it felt, it felt long for a little bit. It was probably like ninety minutes. I think like the, I think the best way I like to describe it, it's, it's the same problem that another adult swim movie had with the Aqua Teen movie. The Aqua Teen Hunger Force movie, like the show works in small doses, but when you turn it into an hour and a half venture, it starts getting a little trying towards the end because it's it's the same kind of joke, same kind of humor, and you just kind of start getting used to it. They do break it up though. They do like you know at one point they'll do you know they'll break the fourth wall or then they'll yeah. put a commercial in the middle and they try to keep it yeah. more. I was, I was actually expecting it to, to lose steam a lot earlier than it did. And there are, there are plenty of great laughs to, to keep the movie going, you know, so that you're not bored. And they really push the, uh, you know, on Adult Swim, they're on like TVMA, and they, they get some, some gross stuff. But here with the R rating, they really go far. I was surprised that it was, I, didn't, I hadn't known that it was uh, rated R until they did the Q&A afterwards. Because I, I could have sworn that they could have gotten an NC-17, and it wouldn't have even bad an eye at it. Because there's some pretty raunchy stuff that... Yeah, it's... Yeah, and the story, if, if you don't know, is that uh, Tim and Eric are given a billion dollars to make a movie, and they make this terrible, terrible movie, which is kind of great, and, yeah. and then uh, they have to try to find out a way to repay this billion dollars, and then they go buy them all from Will Ferrell, and it's got great cameos, I mean, it's all the people who you see yeah. on Awesome Show, Will Ferrell, Zach Galifianakis, Will Forte, yeah. uh, there's the Jeff, Jeff Goldblum is in it. Robert Loja, Loja, William Atherton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a uh, if you're a Tim and Eric fan, you're definitely gonna think it's really funny. If you're maybe into like weird kind of humor, I think you think it's really funny. But if you've seen Tim and Eric skits and been like, uh, I don't know what the hell is going on. This is really like the anti comedy. I would stay. Weird. I would stay away. Yeah. He, they made this movie for their fans. Yeah, because it's it's very twisted. It's very weird, and it's it's definitely not gonna be for everybody. Yeah. Um, and I think I don't know. For for me too, what I, I found myself thinking about was like. It's kind of this weird, almost postmodern Wayne's world in a way. That like Tim and Tim and Eric are like are like Wayne and Garth, you know. Especially with the movies because they do the same kind of things. They break the fourth wall. They cut away to like a, a scene that's out of context, you know, of the story of the movie. But and and you know, it's self-referential to the movie itself. It's very meta, but like you know, not in a pretentious way. Like it's all hilarious stuff. Yeah. And like they, they, they play around with like the opening of the movie, like with production logos and stuff like that, in the same way that like Tropic Thunder did. Yeah. And so there's, there's there's a lot of great stuff in this movie, and it's uh, it, it's very very funny. But but it's as far away from mainstream as Wayne's World was. It mainstream, it, yeah, exactly. The opposite of that. Yeah, yeah. It's a, yeah. It was funny. I laughed, and uh, even watching it at like one thirty in the morning, uh, I, I was enjoying it for the most part. A little bit of a drag. What do you expect? It's their first feature film. Yeah, exactly. All right, so uh, so that's it. Um, where can we find more of your work? Uh, you can find my work on firstshowing.net. We're doing some dance coverage over the next week and a half. And you can find mine at slashroom.com. And both of us will be talking to Tim and Eric, uh, so look for that on our sites in the coming week, too. Indeed. And now, as nobody's shooting this, you're going to awkwardly see me walk away. Goodbye, Missy.